I can, you know, I'll, yeah, exactly. Peanut butter and jelly, peaches and cream, hot dogs and ketchup. There are just certain things in life that are meant to be together, right? Right? Okay. Well, the same can be said for noodles. <laughs> That just is a weird segue. Okay, they have got to be paired with the right sauces. And here to show us the right way to pair your sauce with your noodles is Buca de Beppo's chef, Emily Bishop. Emily, it's great to have you back. Thank it you really is. Thank you so much. Thank you. I still I need to get that recipe again from you from last week with the, uh, the meatballs. But we're talking sauces today, and I like all sauces. So how do you match and mix the right ones with the right sauce? Well, there's so many pastas out there, so I think you get really confused going into the grocery store and figuring out which one goes with what. So what we want to do is walk you through four different types of pasta, four different sauces, and so you can see how to do it at home and understand why there's so many shapes out there. See, I usually just grab what's on the shelf and feed my kids. Whatever, I know, and what your yeah. kids like, you kind of go to. But, but there, there is a wrong and, and right way. So exactly. So, want to know the right way. So, the first one we have here is our farfalle pasta. So, it's like a small bow tie. A lot of people call it the bow tie pasta. It's so good. Um, it means little butterflies. So, we like to think of it as a delicate pasta that you want to put a really light sauce with. Um, so, we chose our basil pesto sauce here. So, and it just kind of covers the pasta, but it's a really light finish. It goes great with seafood and like grilled chicken. I'll be the judge. Like that. I'll be the judge. So, <laughs> next one we brought in was one you've all pretty much know, our rigatoni. So it's our tube pasta, and you can kind of see right through it, make your, your pasta necklaces with this. But there's a reason for the sturdy pasta. It's for our meat sauce, so our bolognese. Oh, seriously? We, so you don't put cream with it or anything? No, we want to make sure that the, the hardiness of the sauce gets into each pasta tube. So when you're biting it, you should have that, that bolognese flavor, and it shouldn't just be a plain sauce And I sauce think I should pasta. really try that, too. You should. You should taste all of them. Mm. So it one is, it's, it's meatier. It's a meatier noodle. And it's sturdy. It holds up to that sauce, so they go Man, well that's together. that's good sauce. Okay. Another one we're probably familiar with is our fettuccine pasta. So you have your flat, wide noodles. Perfectly pairs up with an Alfredo sauce, which we made here from scratch. Um, you know, a heavier cream. It covers the pasta. So if you okay, want to scoop that right over that. Don't even joke about this. <laughs> okay, there we go. And, you know, this way it You make this from scratch? <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, and I you can do this right in at home in smaller little batches. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna come back and teach us how to make yeah, this one. Okay. We can definitely do that. Okay. So fettuccine, and this way you get like a, a good flavor with all the sauce <laughs> on that pasta. Um, the last one that may be a little bit newer, I don't know, do you recognize this one? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people think it's angel hair. This is our capellini. Mm. So a little bit thicker than an angel hair, a little bit smaller than a spaghetti. Man, that's good. <laughs> wow, that is so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alfredo, I put on everything. It's so Woo! good. Um, the Pomodoro sauce that we have here is too another light, delicate sauce that goes great with the light pasta. So we're gonna toss it onto here. Now that's not a marinara, is it? Is that what you call it? What did you call we it? We called it a pomodoro. So what we do in this sauce is we basically cook a little bit of garlic and olive oil, um, throw in some grape tomatoes See, or Roma tomatoes, mm -hmm. and you do add a touch of marinara to give it a little bit more of the coverage. But it's it's so excellent. Just shut up. <laughs> this is so good. So this is how everything pairs together. But we okay. want to show you how to <laughs> such a properly tough job. cook the pasta. I know. Man, it's that's difficult so good. being around food all day. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> so biggest myth on food, on cooking our pasta here is, um, do you oil the water? No oil in the water. Really? No. I always do that. If you put oil on the, wa on the pasta, you're going to make a barrier between your sauce and pasta, and it's going to lose all that flavor, and it won't Well, adhere. that's what I've been doing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and Seriously, toss this up. I thought they stick if you don't put oil in No. It. We, the key is having your sauce ready right when the pasta is, so that's what we have here. But you want to shake up the pasta. So you get all that steam and uh, water off of it. And we're okay. going to toss it right into our sauce, which is our pomodoro, all ready to go. So you pomodoro. have pomodoro. What does that mean? The pomodoro is just like what we tasted here. That's so, the pomodoro. Okay. To make sure it's all set, though, I wanted you to do the trick. Throw it right at the door. So oh, I thought you wanted me to there. eat it. No, toss okay. it. This is true. It may. A lot of people think. It's Yo. <laughs> no, it's not ready. So I'm not okay. ready yet. We want to cook it a little bit more. Okay. If that doesn't work. <laughs> and your ceilings aren't holding it, you can always break open the pasta. And if you see a little dot in the center, it means al dente. That's what we're looking for. So it has what that resistance al dente mean? to the teeth. So it gives a little resistance to the pasta when you bite into it. Al and that dente. means it's firm and it's not mushy. Because if it's mushy, it's no good. Okay. 
Well, I what think you it's think? good. <laughs> I like it. So why don't we have But I know what you mean. It's a little more bitey. This one's cooked a little bit too much. Yeah. So, and and you can toss it, like I said, but um, wow, we want to make sure. good. That has more tomatoes in it than that one. So this one has a little bit more of the grape tomatoes. The so grape let's go tomatoes. ahead and plate this up, and we can try it finished up as well. Okay. We have our finished bowl here, and then these are a couple of our finished products at the end. And I want to make sure you get to taste this one, so we have some tasting spoons. But let's go ahead and so you're doing plate it so this nice. I would just pour it all over it. We make it tall. Oh, I try to make it tall in the that, center of the bowl. Look at that! That's beautiful. Why don't you uh, garnish it a little bit, and then you dive in and taste it? Let me get this fork here. Oh, that's so pretty. Do you put Parmesan on it? Yeah, I put a little bit of that. And then do you want to try some out? Oh, honey, what is my name? My <laughs> name is Try Things. Here you go. Okay, let's you do it. Oh, you do it too. All right, together. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cheers and Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Can I take this home? Yes, I'll package it to go. <laughs> Dinner, children. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, for more information, log on to our, our show's website. And uh, we'll have Emily's recipes and, and stay with us because it's a great show. <laughs> Thank you.